Hey, <laughs> allow me to say that uh, this is Wednesday Learning by Life Sean, and I want to talk about the transformative power of no. You see, as we enter into the hustle and bustle of 2024, I am thrilled to be launching this uh, because it's going to be a time of learning and just equipping and challenging uh, each other and being able to grow together. And so every Wednesday, you can look forward to this. And today we begin with the power of no, the necessity of no. You see, in a world that constantly demands our time, attention, resources, learning to say no is not just important, it's an essential skill. It's a skill more impactful than mastering a new language, you know, like learning Chinese or even accumulating wealth. Saying no is a gateway to living a life aligned with our true purpose and values. And so why is it important to say no? Number one, it preserves your energy. Every yes you utter, you know, is uh, things that you allow into your life that drain you, that take away energy, that take away your resources, that take away your time. And, uh, you know, causes you not to focus on what doesn't matter. Number two, it sets boundaries. You see, no is a boundary setter. It sets the boundaries for your self-respect, for your time, for your resources. Number three, no cultivates authenticity. When we say no, it doesn't matter, uh, you know, what is going on. It, 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 it just means that you're honoring yourself, you're honoring your time and the things that you need to do. Number four, no helps you to be able to focus. You focus on your calling, your passion, your purposes, and you do the things that matter. Number five, no reduces stress. You know, just imagine how much stress comes into your life because you're seeking to just fit in into everyone's programs. Number six, it empowers you. Allow me to say that no is so empowering, it's shocking. It, it just gives you independence to do what you ought to do. Number seven, it encourages the true you because you're able to do the things that you need to do. You're honest with yourself. You're honest with other people. You're able to focus and you're able to pursue your purpose. Number eight, it promotes growth. Every no to a distraction is a yes to personal growth and self in, in, you know self improvement every no builds you number 9 it fosters it fosters creativity you see no helps you to be able to focus on things that you need to focus on and to grow yourself number 10 it invites the right opportunities when you learn to say no you invite good opportunities proper opportunities things that you need to take your time your effort and your resources and so learn to say no now 10 things to say no to in 2024 you need to say no to these things number one of a commitment say no to taking more than you can be able to handle it's not just about time management it's about managing your your energy and your resources number two say no to toxic relationships build relationships that build you that grow you and you're also able to grow other people number three Say no to negativity. <laughs> stop being a critic. Uh, stop being, a, you know, a complainer that you're always complaining. You know, just say no to negativity. Number four, say no to unhealthy habits. You know, uh, not sleeping enough, not reading, not doing things that you're supposed to be doing. You know, just say no to those things. Number five, say no to procrastination. In fact, I challenge you today to stop procrastinating and begin to do the things that you're supposed to do. Number six, say no to people pleasing. Can we do this already? Let's stop being people pleasers and begin to prioritize life, the things that matter. Number seven, say no to failure. Yes, say no to failure. Stop being afraid of failing. Stop being afraid of attempting. Stop being afraid of working on things. Number eight, say no to unnecessary guilt. You know, people can cause you and things can cause you to be so guilty of things that you should not be guilty about. Number nine, say no to comparison. Stop comparing yourself. Live your life. Take your path and go where God wants you to go. And number 10, uh, say no to resting in the comfort zones because you need to step out and do what God wants you to do. You know, you see, in the economy of your life, no is your most valuable currency. No is your most valuable currency. Every no is a step towards a yes. 
every no is a step towards uh, walking in your purpose and doing the things that you're supposed to do and stopping to walk according to people's expectations and what people want you to, uh, to, to go after. Go after God's plan. Go after God's purpose. And so I challenge you today to say yes to God's will and God's purpose and say no to agendas and plans and purposes that have got nothing to do with God. Yep, that's what we were talking about. Learning to say no. It's important. It will save your life. It will transform your life. And we'll see you next week. This was Wednesday Learning by Life Sean. Bye-bye.